guys, Steve Infielders here, back in the garage. Today we're looking at Big Country's HD, or heavy duty, front and rear bumpers. And with Big Country we have Ben. How you doing, Ben? I'm doing great, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in. So Ben, tell us more about the front bumper. So this is a new uh, bumper replacement line that we're offering for newer body style heavy duty uh, trucks, such as this uh, Ford Super Duty that we just did an install on. Um, this is a heavy duty construction, all steel, all welded, uh, comes with a uh, two year warranty for any okay. customers that are interested in knowing that. Um, in terms of some of the aesthetic features, it comes with this diamond plate finish up above and down below, and as well as the uh, the hexagon center mesh panel up above here. Okay, and I see that you maintain many of the factory provisions like fog lights and uh, hooks. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so we do like to retain a lot of the factory features uh, for customers that are, are going to be asking. You do retain the factory tow hooks and as well as the factory fog lights. Okay. Um, for customers that uh, have a front camera, this is 100% compatible with any front camera systems. It's just a matter of removing this center mesh panel and then you're ready to go. Good deal. And I know many of the viewers at home, if you're like me, you want to know, this is a massive bumper, so how, how many pounds can I expect this to weigh when the winch is loaded into it, for instance? So since this bumper is winch ready, it's just a matter of buying the additional winch tray to accept yep. it. Uh, you should probably expect this to be about anywhere between 500 to 525 pounds. Uh, that doesn't include also if you decide to use the two inch receiver for any accessories you need to, you need to use in the field. So massive bumper, it's going to be unforgiving in a good way to anything you happen to come in contact with. Mm -hmm. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the rear bumper and talk about some of the features there. So just like the front bumper, our rear heavy duty bumper replacement is a one piece construction, fully welded, heavy duty in design and construction. It includes welded brackets, so there's no additional brackets needed. And an additional feature is all the factory provisions are kept from the backup sensors to the trailer plug assembly. That's all carried over as well as a provision for the spare tire winch. We also like to add these separate lights that can be wired into the backup lights or on a remote switch as well. All right, Ben, so on to the installation. As far as the front bumper and the rear bumper goes, uh, for the front bumper, I want to ask about how, this, how long do you think this is going to take the average viewer to install, but also what about the difficulty? But a second part of that question is what about a professional installer? And the same questions. Okay, so for the average user, the front is going to be a 10 okay. um, in terms of difficulty just because of its sheer mass and size. Um, Install time, you're probably going to be looking anywhere between two to three hours for the average user. Uh, for a professional on a front bumper, this should be rated at a five. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the front bumper install, for a professional, they're probably going to be looking probably about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, now, for the rear bumper, mm -hmm. for an average end user, maybe a six, seven most, um, probably about an hour and a half for install. For a professional, a four. Okay. Uh, under an hour, they should be able to have it installed, not including the wiring. Very good. So guys at home, you heard it here. Um, you might be able to do this on your own if you have a cherry picker and some uh, specialized tools and some manpower on hand to make this happen. But we do recommend, like Ben said, to take this to your local dealer. Um, you can find that in the description below this video. You can find a dealer locator to find a dealer who would be more than happy to make this installation happen for you. Now, beyond using the dealer locator just for installation purposes, you can actually use the description below this video to find a part number, but also to use that dealer locator again to make this purchase happen as well. Now, before we close, Ben, thank you again for coming in today. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure, and we My couldn't goodness. have done it without you. Thank you. Now, guys at home, if you liked the video, leave us a like. If you love the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been Performance Corner in the Garage.